Hey everyone, today we're going to provide you with a step-by-step -step walkthrough of how to replace your corrosion control anodes in a Yamaha 150 horsepower four-stroke. So on this outboard we have two exterior anodes, one here on the skeg and one on the trim bracket. So replacing your anodes requires just a few simple tools. All you really need is a socket with an extension and two socket sizes. So before we remove the skeg anode, a couple things to take note of. This particular outboard has it lined with the marker just to the right. Your outboard might be a little bit different, something to take note of when you put the new anode back on. We first have to remove this friction fit rubber seal. So if you can get underneath it and just pull it right off. And that's why you need this extension to get down in there and find the bolt. So now that our socket has a bite on the bolt, we're gonna go ahead and just start loosening it up. So now that we've removed the old anode, crack open the packaging, put the new one on. So as mentioned in the packaging, you get your four 10 millimeter bolts that hold the trim bracket anode on, and also the 12 millimeter bolt that holds the skeg anode on. So here's a little tip for putting the new skeg anode back on. We're gonna change our socket to tighten, put it back in there and find the bolt because you're gonna to wanna to get this started by hand. So we'll find the threads. Now that we have the skeg anode hand threaded on, this is when we can go ahead and start tightening it down. Remember we have the fin facing back with that arrow marker lined up with the one just to the right. So now that we have that nice and snug, we're gonna carefully remove the extension you don't want to lose that socket down in there. We'll take our friction fit rubber gasket and put it back on. And now we'll move on to the trim bracket. So we swapped out our 12 millimeter socket for a 10 millimeter socket. And as I mentioned, there's four 10 millimeter bolts on the underside of the trim bracket anode. One thing to take note of is that there is a ground wire uh, underneath one of these bolts. Make sure that that ground wire goes back to the same place when you go to replace the new anode. So we'll start by removing the 10 millimeter bolts from the trim bracket. So here we have the trim bracket anode and now that we have it off we're going to do just a quick inspection. As you can see there's just a little bit of minor corrosion going on there but it really hasn't shrunk in size all that much. Other thing that you want to inspect is this ground wire just see if there's any damage to that connection. So now we're gonna put the new anode on. Uh, one thing to take note of is that there are these brackets that hold the anode to the trim bracket itself. So we're gonna go ahead and kind of get a bolt in there to keep it on there. So one thing I like to do is start kitty corner from one another so the bracket goes on evenly. And I'm starting right here with this corner and the ground wire. And then we'll just thread in the last two bolts, get them hand tightened. Great, now we got those snugged up. We can tighten them down. And these don't go on overly tight, so make sure to get them snug, but not too tight. And with that, that concludes the installation of our new anodes. If you have any further questions, be sure to reference your maintenance manual.